to Louis' little clan. We were not so much a professional team, but a clan of friends. Everybody could speak about everything, you know, and we discussed script and direction and everything. It was not that we were only professional specialists. They were these sort of cliques, and I would go from sort of one to the other. And so I would cross Louis Mal's path from time to time. He was the young up-and-coming director. He was independent, intellectually independent, politically independent, didn't want to belong to any group. He was considered a rich kid, and uh, somehow everybody was envious, not so much of his money, but of the luck he had, the fortune to work very early, because at 21 already he had worked with Cousteau uh, for the Le Monde du Silence and got a golden palm, or half of one. And then with Les Amants, he had the biggest uh, commercial, almost mainstream success. C'est un, c'est un mal aimé, quoi. Voilà. Disons que c'est un, c'est un mal, mal aimé, mais pas tellement euh, par antipathie que par euh, et les Français aiment beaucoup ça, mettre des, mettre des, 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 des comment dire, des classifications. Bon, Truffaut, c'est l'homme qui aimait les femmes. Godard, c'est lui qui a, qui a inventé le cinéma. Euh, Chabrol, c'est le, c'est le grand satiriste de la bourgeoisie. Il n'a pas, il n'a pas de, il n'a pas d'image, à mon avis. Est-ce que c'est du dilettantisme C'est quelqu'un qui ne se trouvait pas Est-ce que c'est pourquoi il n'est absolument pas reconnu comme un cinéaste de la nouvelle vague dans les faits, si vous voulez Je pense qu'il a peut-être souffert de ça. Je ne sais pas. He was more uncomfortable with his image, I guess, uh, than with his own being. After each film, he felt, I'm lost. What, what should I do? This movie I just made, that is not quite me. He was always looking how, through the next movie, he would become somebody else and not be lost anymore. He had done this Brigitte Bardot movie, and he was looking around. That was the moment where we went to Algeria. He wanted to do a very committed, politically committed movie. It didn't work out. He lost himself in very much in in the nightlife in Paris. He was so talented, he could do everything, but had no special urge to do anything in particular. And that's when I think a friend gave him uh, Drieux La Rochelle's uh, Feu Follet, and um, he was immediately taken by it. And this feeling, this kind of existential angst and self-depreciation that he felt he found articulated in this novel. It was truly the moment where he felt he would kill the, this bourgeois, the, the mal à l'aise he was uncomfortable with. I mean, I don't think that he had any suicidal inclinations, truly. It was more uh, to become somebody else. He called his clan, uh, us, uh, his brothers, together, He handed out a copy of the novel to each one of us. Uh, Now, what do you think? Read it and what do you think? And uh, from then on, he completely concentrated on the making of it. When Louis made uh, Feu Follet, he had just turned 30, like the character, the main character in the movie, Alain Leroy. And this is the one movie, I think, that he wrote uh, the script uh, completely alone because it was so uh, it was so important to him. It was the character was very near things that he himself uh, felt. Ça vient après euh, après vie privée. Je crois qu'il avait envie après cette espèce de d'ouvrage symphonique euh, la peu lourd de faire une chose rapide, intime, de vraiment un, un, faire un coup quoi comme un <laughs> comme un, comme un gangster, là. Comme... il faut faire ça, ça très vite. Voilà, enfin, c'était, c'est, c'est passé du, du, du symphonique à, la, à l'intime et, à une, et en fait à une histoire beaucoup plus, pas autobiographique bien sûr, mais beaucoup plus proche quand même de sa sensibilité 
que le, que le, grand, compte, le grand compte de fées pré-people de, de vie privée. Everything went very fast, and I think within three or four months we started shooting. Louis had an absolute perfect knowledge of, of cinematography. Actually, he always had 16 millimeter cameras with himself. He had helped develop the Beaulieu uh, 16 millimeter camera. He was absolutely passionate about lenses and everything. And he chose uh, the cinematographer uh, Guillain Gloquet, but all the imagination came from Louis. It was Louis who was setting up the shot. It was Louis who was suggesting which way to light it. It was Louis who, who designed uh, every camera shot, every movement. He was totally at ease when it came to what to do with the camera, where to put it, how to pan to achieve what he wanted. I mean, it had to be documentary in style but it had to be as elegant as any black and white photography that was ever done. Yeah.